Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and what I've got here is the CalDigit T3. This is a very compact, direct attach storage device that allows you to combine three, three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives in either a RAID 0, a RAID 1 or a RAID 5 configuration. You can also configure it to show up as just one large volume which spans across the capacity of all three drives. It's a very compact device. Normally when you see these sort of devices, they're either two bays or four bays. This is a nice sort of uh, meeting point in the middle. And this particular one is the three terabyte versions so that comes with three one terabyte drives already installed. Now each of these bays, they're marked A0, A1 and A2. They are lockable, so you can actually lock them by turning this key in the lock, or you can in fact unlock them like so, and then you use the other key, which is like a SIM eject tool for want of a better sort of description, and you pop it in here and it sort of pops out the handle, and then you can remove the individual drives. Now the drives that are in my unit are Toshiba, one terabyte drive, 7200 RPM, and you can in fact put SSDs in here as well, so solid state drives, and with solid state drives you get up to 1100 megabytes per second transfer speed, which is absolutely fantastic. So this just pops back into place like so, very, very easily, and then as I say, you can lock these to give you extra security. We've got a power button on the front, we've got a main sort of LED light, and then we've got three activity lights down the bottom, a little vent on the bottom here just to aid with uh, heat dissipation. On the side, really nice sort of uh, design on the side which also aids with uh, getting heat out of the unit. And then round the back we have got a fan which again aids with keeping the unit cool. We've also got a Kensington lock. We've got two Thunderbolt 2 ports. Really great to see Thunderbolt 2 on a device. And then we've also got the main input for the power supply, which is included inside the box. Now I'm gonna get this connected up to my MacBook Pro, and then I'm gonna run you through some benchmarks and give you my opinion. So we've got everything set up and running. We've got the CalDigit T3 connected via one of the Thunderbolt 2 ports on the back of the device into my Retina MacBook Pro. Now this is currently set to a RAID 5 configuration, so probably not the fastest option, but certainly the fastest in combination with data redundancy. Now with the CalDigit T3, you do get a CalDigit drive utility software included, and this gives you options to select a device list, and this gives you feedback as to the overall capacity available, various serial numbers of the hard drives installed in the individual bays, We've also got a disk utility, and it's in this particular option that we can choose between RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and JBOD. We've also got some preference options, and we've currently just got a smart check set to check the health of the hard drives every hour. We've got some notification preferences, event preferences, and then also a disk benchmark. Now, it's in here that we can test to see if this will handle a 4K video editing workflow. So I've got 4K actually selected as an option here. If we click on it, we can choose lower resolutions, uh, but we're gonna stick with 4K at 10 bit. The file size, we're gonna choose one gigabyte, and then we're gonna click Start. And this shows you which supported video formats the drive is gonna be able to handle. Also, the frames per second and the overall performance shown as a read and write graph. If we look at frames per second, you can see at 4K resolution, it's supporting 17 frames per second, both read and write. So you might see the occasional dropped frame if you were using this in its current format for a 4K editing workflow. If we go to supported video formats again, you can see it tops out at 2K resolution, 25 frames per second. So really, I would take that with a pinch of salt because I would still use this for 4K video workflow. You just might see the occasional dropped frame whilst you're editing, but nothing more than that. The other option, of course, is to swap out these hard drives with something that's faster performance or solid state drives, or indeed change from a RAID 5 configuration to maybe a striped configuration. That would probably give you much better performance. So let's switch over to Blackmagic Design's disk speed test software. 
and this is going to give us something more visual to look at both for the write and read speeds so we're going to click start and you can see on the first run it's coming in at 355 megabytes per second on the right and the read speeds topping out at 341 megabytes per second we let this run a couple of times you can see there it peaks at almost 400 megabytes per second on the right and we're getting an average of around about 345 to 359 megabytes per second on the read speed. So again, it's indicating a handle a 2K video editing workflow absolutely fine. For a 4K editing workflow, you might be looking at changing this to a different RAID configuration. In fact, let's try that right now. Okay, so now we have reconfigured the CalDigit T3 to a RAID 0 configuration. So that's sharing the information in a striped configuration across all three of the hard disks. So we're going to go back into the CalDigit drive utility. We're going to go into disk benchmark and we're going to run this test again with all the same settings. We're going to just choose T32R as the target volume, 4K, and one gigabyte, so identical settings, and click Start. And it's running through the test now, and you can see it's still only showing as 2K being supported. But if we go across to the frames per second tab just here, you can see that 4K is perfectly manageable with a read speed of 26 frames per second and a write speed of 25 frames per second. So it's improved the performance a great deal. Now, if we come out of that and back into the Blackmagic disk speed test software, and we're gonna click start again and see what changes we see here. So on the right speed on the first run, it was 420 megabytes per second, but over 500 megabytes per second on the right speed, topping out 540 megabytes per second on the right speed. And on the read speed, 530 to 545 megabytes per second. So big, big improvement. So changing this to a RAID 0 configuration means that this is more than capable with the hard drives it comes supplied with of handling a 4K video editing workflow. So my opinion of the CalDigit T3, it's beautifully made, superb performance, and it comes in at a very good price point. If you're into video editing or any other task that needs a fast data throughput, then it's well worth considering. Thanks very much for watching. Please do hit like on this video, show it some love, and we'll share all of your likes on the Geekanoids Twitter account. And thanks also for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one.